Okay, now that we got everything installed, we're outside, we're going to run it. I kind of wanted to explain this to you before we run it because you're not going to hear me as, as the thing's running. But this is going to be your main adjustment here. This is called a load block. And what you're doing is actually restricting fuel to give your best signal between your carburetor and your regulator because this is controlled off of engine vacuum. So what I do is I loosen this up, get my GM nut loose, so I got a little gap in there so I can turn this. I'll open it up till she's loose because that way I know I'm dumping enough fuel in there. Um, make sure your chokes are all off. You never need choke with propane because you got to have a good vacuum signal. So um, let me turn on the propane here. And let's see if we can get her to start. Now if you don't have electric start, this could possibly take you a little longer because of getting it. It's so fine of a tune. So let's see what we got here. Sometimes she's fussy. But that's a fucking Okay, we're getting close. Okay, just keep playing with it, it's all you can do. Almost had her going. Once everything's all set, um, the installations aren't that difficult. Uh, there are different units out there, but like I said, we chose this one because it is a little bit more difficult because of being a four bolt pad. These are the crates that will ship these units into your home or business. Now, if you go to your home, obviously, uh, the freight company's going to charge you. It's right around $100 more because you got to have a lift gate, but it'll come in this crate to protect your unit. So. Uh, that's about it on the install. I'd like to thank you again. Uh, this is Matt Knopf with PNG Technologies. You can find us on the website at www.pngtechnologies. So again, thank you very much. I hope this helps out.